but there might be a slight delay in execution of price hike as the Association of Nigeria Electricity Distribution on Monday declared the new electricity tariffs shall become enforceable from April 1 in line with directives from Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission. The DISCO spokesman Sunday Odonton said the increase would cater for revenue shortfalls in the sector. The DISCO said, and I quote, the tariffs shall remain the same as they presently are until April 1, 2020, when there will be a slight increment to cater for tariff shortfalls, which shall be gradually passed on to the consumer until this is fully completed by the end of 2021. Owa reacting to what it called obnoxious policy, the People's Democratic Party, PDP, has rejected the increase in electricity tariff by the federal government. The opposition party, on its official Twitter handle, said the hike in tariff is injurious to the well-being of Nigerians. The statement added the PDP rejects in its entirety the over 200% increase in electricity tariff announced by the APC-led administration. Well, Vincent Tunwani, an economist, believes the issues with the power sector is not tariff. He's speaking after the fallout of the proposed hike in electricity tariff by the government. He says government should be holistic in its approach. The report. Coming six days after President Muhammadu Buhari in his New Year's speech promised Nigerians significant improvement in electricity supply, there are indications of a possible hike in tariff. Effective April distribution companies will adjust tariffs upwards. While Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission calls it a minor review and a retrospective adjustment, a cross-section of Nigerians think otherwise. For Vincent Owani, an economist, he says the power situation needs a holistic approach and not about hike in tariff. Consumers around the country must have meter to avoid this issue of slamming them with charges for commodity or services they never received. As big as Lagos is, over 20 million uh, uh, inhabitants, we just have only two companies. So if you're living maybe in the island, you are locked up with a uh, eco disco. If you're living maybe in the Keja area, you are lock, locked up with the Keja disco. We need, consumers need to have choice. Part of the report also has it that government is meant to subsidize the sector with a whopping 545 billion naira. Vincent believes government should move away from subsidy regime to allowing the forces of demand and supply hold sway. If we are in, into manufacturing, if I'm into construction, if I'm into SME and I have problem with my business, government must come to subsidize me. And this subsidy is not free because when government coffered out 500 and something billion to subsidize power that is not even there, the hospital, the uh, schools, the airport that need to be built or maintained will not be built. The proposed tariff rise will see an increase from 27 naira 20 kaba for Abuja Disco to 47 naira. For Ikeja Disco in Lagos, from 26 naira 50 kaba to 36 naira 92 kaba. Inugu Disco increase will be 47 naira 12 kaba from 25 naira 11 kaba. General belief remains that the current approach exposes the consumer to too many charges from all sides. David Ubabadike, STV News.